Is it time to be let out? Are you ready to go outside? What about you, Dilly? Are you ready? Are you ready to go outside? Yeah? Okay. Let's get you guys outside. Oh boy. Oh. Hey, Boogie. Hey, Boogie. Alright, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh. Right leg. Move your feet. Don't want to squish them. You guys. You guys are going to have a new friend in the field with you. So you're back at Mulberry Branch Farm, and today we have a special treat for you guys. We have a new animal coming to the farm. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Dilly, you little... So, any guesses as to who's coming to our farm today? No guesses? No gu Goodness. No guesses. Tiger, who would you like to come to our farm today? Got a new friend? Yeah? You too, Dilly? Yeah. You tell me, to oh, okay, tell me that again. I didn't hear you. Oh, well, Tiger. Tiger says she wants another llama. And Dilly says she wants a pig. I'm okay with both of those. But that's not what's coming to the farm today. Gotta get his pen ready. So before they get here, I really need to make sure that this stall behind me is clean. Because who does, who wants to come to like new digs and their room not be ready? Maybe I like going to a hotel room and like the bed's not made and there's no mints on your pillows. So you can see the chicken's been uh, rooting around in there. She's been scratching it up, keeping it easy for us to clean up. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and get it ready. And then the next time I bring you guys back, you're going to see what we're getting on the farm. <laughs> The job's done. So I'm hoping to pick up some pine shavings later on today before we come back home from church because it's Sunday when I'm filming this and my new addition doesn't come until this afternoon. So I'm really excited. I'm trying to hurry up and get things done before we go to church. So I've got that all clean. I need to go get some buckets of water, um, rinse out the feed bowl and get ready. I mean, we're we're pretty much ready. I think the only other thing I might want to do is get some hay ready because it's a grazing animal, as most things are on a farm, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And it's cute. It's super cute. Does it pass inspection, Jingo? Does it pass your inspection? Thumbs up? He doesn't have thumbs. Tail wags? He doesn't have a tail. Dilly. You're the leader. You're the herd queen. The, this new animal will never be accepted if you don't accept it. So I need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. I really need you to be accepting of our new animal. Okay? And to be really nice. And to love them like you would love one of your goat friends or me. And no, you cannot speak to the manager. I'm the manager and I'm telling you. I'm telling you we're getting a new animal. And... You need to love it as much as you love your other goat and you love me. Can you do that for me? Does that mean yes? It's your body <laughs> resting your... Just, just love them, okay? Be, be the welcome party that I know you can be, okay? Be the welcome party I know you can be. Okay, love you. Somebody got leftovers from breakfast. Don't you want to share, Tabitha? Do you not want to share with the boys?
any minute now. I'm really excited. So girls, I just thought you should know. I've got you guys a new friend that's hopefully going to protect you a little bit, but also like is as cute as you guys. So I thought you guys be a little bit more excited. I hope you guys make sure to welcome them and maybe shout surprise. Can you shout surprise when they get here, Pinky? Will you do the honors? Something tells me they're not as excited as I am. They should be. Like, they should be super excited. What do you got going on here, Joe? So we got a miniature donkey. Um, the guy said he didn't name her, so I was like, let's name her Lola. And my mom started making a song, Lola the Show. Yeah. And when I was just her like. Her name was Lola. She was a show I was girl. just like, what? <laughs> she's a show donkey. And I was like, no, she's not a show donkey. Not a show donkey. She's uh, still adjusting. She arrived a few minutes ago. Yeah, she just got here, but she is so adorable. She got her baby pulled off last week. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> she's Fleming. She's so yeah, weird. she's just a little. A little yeah, she is. But that—that's to be. I mean, she's traveled down from Greencastle, Indiana, to Kentucky, then to here, then she's like, "There's neighbors." Cause look, Tiger Lily is trying to say hello to her. It's like, there's just so much going on. Yeah, she's like, guys, oh, get my face. Ew. Lord. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Dilly? What do you think? You like her? <laughs> she's like, oh, God. I know a lot of people might say that donkeys, especially miniature donkeys, are not guardians. And we're, we're aware. Most people would have said llamas are not guardians. A lot of people would consider livestock guardians to only have teeth. And to a degree, I agree with that. But we have just coyotes. And most of the time, they run off if you just make a loud noise at them. So, oh, what's going on on the outside of my barn? But they're rubbing. But that's Miss Lola. She's a miniature donkey and... She's been bred, so she hasn't been confirmed pregnant, but she was in with the Jack, and it's been about a month since the fella that brought her to me had her, and had her in with the Jack, and she never went to heat, so um, we're figuring that, and usually equines and donkeys will cycle every month, so the fact that she didn't cycle last month means she's probably pregnant, so, and their gestation is like 12 months, so. We are hoping to have a little donkey bun in the oven, but it could be a while before we figure out if it's going to happen or if it will happen at all. And then if she's not, we have friends that have miniature donkeys, and if we wanted to breed her, then we, we most certainly could. And I can tell somebody's <laughs> confused and is not, not quite sure what to think of this. What do you think, Mark? Mm -hmm. I like her. You like her? Yeah, I like her color. Yeah, Mark was a big proponent for the donkey. And right now, like, you can't find llamas. They're real, really expensive. And actually, the guy that we just had bring her to us kind of shed, us, shed some light on why llamas are actually really tough to get a hold of. And I never thought of it, but I've seen the article where there's an article out there that the antibodies in the blood of llamas can help to combat coronavirus. So they're all going up east to universities and agricultural programs to do testing to figure out if they can perhaps develop a vaccine based off of the llama's antibodies in its blood, which makes a ton of sense because I'm telling you guys, I can't find them for less than a grand. And if I do, they're hours away and the transport alone is just 
makes it not worth it, so. I know she has tiny little hooves. <laughs> Lola's, Lola's like, I break. am tired. I've been in a trailer for God knows how long. She's so pretty. Now guys, just imagine a donkey much smaller than her and baby-like. You okay, honey? So yeah, that's our new addition to our herd and hopefully she'll do a really good job protecting or just warding off. I will have to see how she does with our dogs because donkeys don't like dogs. She'll be all right. At all, but um, she'll, um, figure she'll figure it out. it out. The llama figured it out, the horse figured it out, the dog didn't figure it out with the horse. She broke his leg, but it's because he was running after I her. I think it'll be interesting to see how quick these multiply. I think we like them already. I like miniatures. And then he was talking about miniature cattle and yeah. Miniature Seems like cattle. the <laughs> miniatures are growing on every yeah. bite, but I'm sure yeah. we'll end up with probably more donkeys after I'm, this one. Are you down with that? I think so. He I'm likes pretty, donkeys, though, yeah. guys. Yeah. He likes donkeys. Probably because their personality matches mine. Laid back. Probably a little stubborn. But that's so we're officially welcoming Lola to our herd, and hopefully a Lola Junior or Juniorette. Lola Junior. Yeah. He's like, the Junior? <laughs> Daddy's a Junior. He sure is. I'm oh sure my we'll god. keeping the junior no matter what it is. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Mark said, um, regardless of the sex probably on this next donkey, if she's bred or even if we decide to have her bred, if she doesn't come up um, pregnant or appearing pregnant or if I decide to have a sonogram done on her to confirm. We know people with boy donkeys that love girl donkeys. We'll make baby donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> So, and regardless if she has um, a, a Jack or a Jenny for her foal, we'll probably end up keeping it and gelding it because um, just them being raised around livestock makes them good protectors. Oh my God. Protecting little shenanigan makers One like that. One thing's funny too is he was talking about all the different colors they can come mm -hmm. in. So, yeah. Uh, she's like a gray. Yeah, she's just your standard yeah. gray, but. He was talking about blacks, sorrels, spotted. spotted. Yeah. I mean, all kinds of donkeys. And yeah. I wouldn't mind finding another Jenny. Yeah. And if you see anything like our what our goats look like, like, we like the color. rainbow of colors, yeah. yeah. So we like color. The we the more like interesting, yeah. The more interesting they are, the more likely we we want to have them and keep them around. <laughs> so yeah. I know. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's going to do it, guys. We're super excited to be welcoming Lola into our herd. And I will keep you all updated as we start to introduce her out to our goats. Because right now, we've just got her in an adjoining stall. So she can kind of just get used to the she goats. Get some face time with them. Yeah, while there's still a barrier. So mm -hmm. I can feel out how she's going to react with them. Because she's been in with goats. She's been in with sheep. She's been in with everything. And is not a fight picker, from what I've been told. So... Yeah, I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. I, I can't wait to keep you updated on Lola and if we're going to have baby Lolas and if there's more other mini donkeys or pigs or micro cows or whatever the heck One we step do. at a time. Yeah. yeah. Baby steps, baby steps. But thanks for being here with us today, guys. Thanks for welcoming Lola to our farm. Remember, stay healthy out there, be safe, and we're going to catch you in the next one. Bye. bye. Say bye, Joe. Bye. <laughs> hey, that's a good sign.